Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you and it's a requested look from my friend Laura on Facebook and um, it's a requested look from the TV series called Bones. Um, I don't watch the series myself but I have seen the people that are in it, obviously the characters that are played. So um, yeah, this is just a look taken from one of the episodes and she sent me a picture and I thought I would do a video on it. So this isn't an exact replica of the look because the picture I was sent, it looked a lot like um, a previous tutorial I've already done called um, Perfectly Purple and I thought it just seemed a little bit silly to kind of repeat the process so I thought I'd do an inspired look instead of a replica. So um, yeah, before we get into it, if you hear any traffic going by, I do apologise, it's just it's so hot in here, I've got to have the windows open, and um, yeah, so please excuse any traffic you hear going by or any voices outside, because I can't help it, I do apologise. So uh, yeah, getting into it, on my face as a blusher, I have got this, which is the Collection 2000 Shimmer Shades Blush, and it's number two, Blusherlicious. And it's got four colours in it. You can use them separately or you can use them all together. And today I use them all together. Um, and then as a highlight, I have got my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I didn't apply a, a contour today because it just didn't, I didn't really seem to feel like I needed one. So, um, yeah, you're going to begin with an eye primer. And I have got the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. And you're just going to blend it across the lid all the way up to the brow bone and you're just going to make sure that that's nice and set ready to accept all the colours and then give that a second to dry and I'm just going to take um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and this isn't going to go over the entire lid because I do find this creases on me so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it on the inner third and don't take it quite up to the crease if you find you get creasing quite easily so I'm just going to apply it like that and then taking my finger, I'm just going to blend it through, so from the outer corner to about halfway across. And this is just going to make the colour that's going to be placed on top of this just kind of stand out a bit more. So the colour that's going on top of it, this one here, is the Barium Dazzle Dust number 31, and it's called Lilac. And you're just going to apply this exactly where the milk pencil has been placed. So you're just going to pat it on. You're just going to pat it on and take it all the way into the inner corner and then bring it out to about here, about two thirds of the way across and this is just going to be our base colour I'm not taking it all the way up to the outer edge because I'm going to do the dark colour before I get to that so I'm just going to take a blending brush and just blend this colour out slightly and then I've mixed two shades of eyeshadow together to get the darker colour so I have got Barium Dazzle Dust number 11 which is charcoal and then number 99 which is bright indigo and I've mixed them together in the lid and I've got this kind of blackish toned purple it's quite a nice colour but obviously you can't use this more than once unless you're going to mix a, a big batch of it and then go from there so um, I'm just going to pick up a slightly thicker blending brush and tap off the extra because these are very fallout happy and you're just going to start it at the outer corner and then just sweep it over to sort of meet about here and then you're just going to rock it back and forth to just place the colour now again because these colours are mixed they're not going to go on as smoothly as they normally would because they're kind of they're working against each other so you're just going to keep applying the colour rocking it back and forth and taking it up towards the brow bone until you are happy with the colour that's been placed so you just want to make sure you're even on both sides as well so it's just going to be small circles to take it up into the crease and up towards the socket ok so then taking the original brush we used, just an eyeshadow brush, we're just going to apply this to the outer third, so I'm just going to sort of place it at an angle from the outer corner into the crease area and then just work it over to give it kind of a defined line and then you're just going to work it over to about a third of the way to half of the way in 
and you're just going to work on this area and create kind of like a V shape so you've got a V going on here so that's what we're kind of aiming for and then we're just going to sort of fill in the little V area and you want to get this as well as close to the lash line as you can and then you're just going to take this colour through the socket area just so that it gives it a nice defined colour in that one area I'm just going to work it back and forth and then just use a little bit of it to blend this top colour out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first blending brush again this is just the T17 from MAC and you're just going to create some small circles to blend this through and then you're just going to pick up some of the mixed colour that you've that you made yourself and you're just going to try and blend it through with that as well just so that it's not quite such a harsh line to blend out and then also just to give it an extra bit of, of dimension and a bit more ease to blend out I'm going to take the Rimmel um, eyeshadow and this is in Glam Rock number 101 and I'm just going to pick up the smallest amount of that tap off the extra and then just run that through where the colour stops. It will give it a minor gradient and it will just make it look a tiny bit less, less harsh. Obviously it's not going to take the complete harshness away but it's going to help. Okay, so next is going to be our highlight colour and I've got MAC Vanilla and everybody knows how much I love MAC Vanilla as the highlight colour so you're just going to place it at the highest point and then work it round. And then taking a small little detailing kind of smudge brush, just going to pick up again some of the colour that we made. And we're just going to place it here in this kind of the little pocket between your nose and your crease. And you're just going to place it here because in the picture it looks like she's got kind of like a defined crease going up here. So we just want to kind of, I don't know, apply that as well, give that a feeling to the look. And then if you want to define it a little bit more, you can take the same brush with the same eyeshadow and just go through it at the socket line, just to make it nice and uniform. And then the next colour I'm going to take is this one here, which is a Barry and Dazzle Dust number 65, and it's called Green Iridescent. And it's pretty much just a white with a green shimmer to it. So this is going to be placed just on the inner corner, and it'll just brighten the eye up. And then going back with our lilac colour, which is this one here, um, we're just going to reapply the lilac a little bit, just to give it a bit more intensity, take it over so that it meets up with the darker colour. You're also going to want to lift it so that it meets here with the dark colour as well. So, again, if you feel like you've lost any intensity along the way, just reapply to make it a little bit darker, so you can just tailor it to how you want it as a way. So for the under eye I'm just going to take my primer potion again because I didn't apply any of this to the lower lash line. So you're just going to apply it now. You want to take it all the way along and then just blend it through with your finger and look up so it's a bit more comfortable. And then taking the darker colour again that we mixed, we're just going to take the smudge brush and we're just going to apply it to the outer corner and take it in about two thirds halfway across you want this to be quite smoky and um, sort of dramatic so you're just going to make it slightly darker at the outer corner and then just blend it inward so it fades slightly and if you can smoke it down if you've got the eye shape to smoke it down and do so I can only smoke mine down to about there because that's all I can get away with with my eye shape and then you just want the two colours the top and bottom to connect so you're just going to take this brush and connect the two together just to give it this kind of nice connected round shape and then you can always just apply a little bit more you could apply some black by itself just to give it a bit more intensity and then going back with our lilac colour again we're just going to apply this to the inner third to butt up against the inner corner here and the 
dark purple already. So if you're, if you're having any trouble blending it, so you can just use your finger just to blend it and it will make it a little bit easier for you. So on the waterline I'm going to take my coal eyeliner, this is the Rimmel one and it's in pure white. And you're just going to apply this to the waterline. You can heat it first, it will make the colour last longer and um, it will make it a lot brighter. But I just want it to be a subtle kind of tone of white today. And then for the upper lash line I'm going to use my Gosh Velvet Touch Eyeliner and this is in black ink. And you want to line the top lashes just kind of as thin as you can really. You don't want it to be too, too much eyeliner, too obvious. And then I'm just going to line the upper waterline as well. So the next step is going to be to apply mascara. So I've got my two Clinique ones, my bottom and my top lash mascara. And these are both black. And you just want to apply this now. Okay, so that is the eyes done. So for the lips, in the look she's got kind of like, um, like a pinky, pale pinky neutral toned lip. And I'm going to kind of try and do that. So I've got the um, Collection 2000 Precision Lip Liner, this is in number 12, Pink Heaven. So you just want to line the lips with this. Okay, so to go on top of that I've got this lip gloss and it is from Revlon and it's called Peach Petal. And this is just going to go on top of the uh, lipstick, which, the lip liner we just placed. And that's it, that's the look complete. So yeah, I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I did the look justice for Laura. And um, yeah, so it's quite dramatic. It's still quite wearable, so I'm going to wear it. I'm about to go out, so I'm going to wear it out. So, uh, yeah, ta-da! I hope you like it, and I hope you give it a go. If you do decide to give it a go, I'd love to see a picture. And, um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and until my next video, I shall see you all soon. Bye!